We're playing a video game. But what game do I play today? Maybe, um... Hmm, maybe, uh, this? I mean, like, it. oh. No. Just... Uh, just gonna leave that there. Well, that sucks. Cedric, any idea what to play here? Cedric, we've been through this before. You're supposed to talk to dialogue here. Fuck it. Fuck it. Well, there's nothing here. Mainly because this is a bookshelf. Time to go to the game shelf. Alright then, what game should I play today? Huh. Can't find anything. Well, what am I gonna do? Maybe I should just get a job. <laughs> well, this episode is bugged. I mean, what here can we play? We... We play. We play! Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Remember when the Wii came out? What game just dominated everyone's mind back then? Wii Sports. Now, Wii Sports was an awesome game that really highlighted the Wii's motion controls. Very limited motion controls. But regardless, I and many others poured a lot of time into these fairly simple mini games, which were literally just swinging a Wii mode around. We had tennis that kicked ass, baseball that was pretty fun, I guess. God damn it! Bowling, which is pretty fun as a party game, golfy that was surprisingly engaging, and boxing that was basically as spammy as you can get. We thought this was the future of video gaming before we found out. Oh god, this is the future of video gaming. Whoa. Wii Sports was a great party game, I mean think about it, it's a bunch of people swinging wildly, acting like idiots in the same room, having a grand old time. What better way could you have fun? And that's what the TV ads were definitely going for. But there was a problem here. The Wii only came with one Wiimote. Great! And so, you had to get another Wiimote, otherwise you felt like the biggest loner playing tennis by yourself. And then... You saw a game, bundled with the Wiimotes. Oh my god, what? Wii Play! I bet nobody would have bought Wii Play if it wasn't bundled with the extra controller. I mean, look at the box art here. It's just... It's just pure art. It's, it's fish. Is that a Jesus fish? But is it actually good? I mean, Wii anything is a little bit dodgy in my opinion, but if Wii Sports can be great, then so can this. On the other hand though, it could be as horrific as... We music. We play consists of nine mini games that all have one gimmick. I put gimmick in quotation marks because I don't think it really shows much. You see, while Wii Sports was all about movement and having a grand old time, we play is about pointing. Well, okay, that might be unfair to say, but it just seems strange that all the minigames are much simpler than Wii Sports, and that's saying a lot when you got more basic than... this. So the first minigame is a basic shootout with tributes to Duck Hunt and all that old stuff that I forgot the name to. It's fairly fun, although the shakiness of the aim reticle does cause you to miss at times, and it really makes me want to play with a good old-fashioned light gun instead. The next game is a puzzle game in which you have to complete objectives to move on. Find two of the same, find three of the same, find odds one out in a time limit and increasing difficulty. Honestly, this is more fun than I remember it being. Maybe it's because I'm older and wiser. But this is honestly incredibly engaging just because it does really get challenging, and some of these challenges are pretty ridiculous. You want me to what? Table tennis. Got nothing to say here, really. Except Captain Falcon decided to join us. That's cool. Next, we have this minigame where we have to rotate the Wiimote to fit your me into certain shapes. It's quite challenging, and at its core, it's pretty fun. Although, why are there such stock photos in the background? I don't mean there's a Nintendo logo or a Mario mascot in the back. I mean, it looks like someone just looked up stock photo on Google Images and then chucked them in. Now, you could argue that it gives it a cute, simple charm, and yeah, I can see that. So, I have no argument, really. My God, this is a bad video. But seriously, it's quite an easy minigame and oh my god, ah! Next is air hockey. Well, not really air hockey. More like a paperclip split in two became infected with nuclear waste to have a neon glow battering around a golden pineapple ring straight out of red rooster on top of an electric stove that is off. Hockey. And I'm bloody awesome at this game. Yeah, 10 out of 7. Next is Paul. And this game requires actual movement of the body. I know, weird, right? You aim. 
and shoot. Simple stuff, right? Of course not. It's the bloody Wii. Nothing is ever simple on the Wii. You can try all you might, but you will never, ever hit the ball on your first go. The game just doesn't register you jutting the Wiimote forwards and you just sit there jerking the Wiimote more violently than usual. Next is the most hardcore mini game ever. Fishing. It's your basic Animal Crossing style fishing, wait for the bite, reel it in, except man, these visuals are so adorable. The paper style is so goddamn cute. Ah, look at it all. Next is this cow game. Everything is made of yarn, but unlike Yoshi yarn, this cow looks absolutely terrifying. I mean, look into its eyes. You know, it's seen some horrible, disgusting things in its life. Well, actually, with the way we treat cows, I... I wouldn't be surprised. Basically, you have to run back from the fields, knocking crap over to get them back to the... Farm? Looks like a slaughterhouse to me. I mean, this game could be more fun if there were more levels, or it's just a little bit longer, but honestly, it's just so short, and the course doesn't change. Not much to this except knock scarecrows down. Oh, and jump endlessly during the results screen. <laughs> Look at me, so silly. Oh, you silly cow. And the last game is Tanks, which is the only game that requires a nunchuck, which means everybody who plays this game goes, Oh, God damn it, where the hell is the nunchuck? Now, if you thought that the paper fishing game was cute, Take a look at this. That music is so damn adorable, I could just eat it all up! And it shows that warfare can be all fun in games as long as you put that music on top. But don't get me wrong, much like every cutesy Nintendo game, this is secretly one of the most stressful games in the library as well. These tanks are pretty smart. They will try to rebound shots off walls, and some of them have super fast missiles. Ah! So honestly, this is one of the best minigames in the collection, but still, it's not enough to really hold my attention for too long. So yeah, this game isn't bad by any means. It's not that good either though. I mean, the games themselves are pretty casual and they don't have a party factor to them. And when the most interesting and entertaining thing in this game is this... But seriously, you can buy this at any store for like three bucks probably. And some of those games are fun for a good 30 minutes. The find a person, tank, and maybe the shooting mini games could be worth that alone. If you're next to a semi-adequate cafe, spend your three dollars on the game. But if it's next to a really great cafe, buy a coffee. <laughs> Coffee's actually four dollars. You can't afford that without inflation. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my video. It's been a while, so I hope this made up for the wait, but you probably weren't waiting for it anyway, but hey, this is just what I do. And if you really thought it was worth it, why not subscribe so you keep updated with my latest videos. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good time and... Ah, that's good cold tea. Good cold tea, yeah. Anyone enjoy cold tea out there? No? It's just me? Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later, mate.